what's happening in Warhill. It's June 4th, two weeks to graduation. I know you all are ready to be done with this year. I think a lot of teachers are too, but we just wanna commend you for your hard work and your dedication. And we're hopeful that next year will bring some normalcy. Here's Dr. Carroll with the news. Hey, 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 what's happening, Warhill? It's Dr. Carroll. Can you believe it's June and we're down to two weeks of school left? Unbelievable. And it's been an unbelievable year. And thank you, all students, for all your efforts this year. It's can't even put it in words, all the things that you've done well to stay on course, to earn your credits. But with two weeks left, let's finish strong, get that work done, study for that final exam. Each credit you earn is one step closer to graduation. And speaking of graduation, a special shout out to our class of 2021. I will see all of you two weeks from today and look forward to handing you your diploma. Some of you still have some work to do and we're here to help. So if you need something else to get done in the next two weeks, reach out, we'll help you get it done. Uh, still sporting events to attend the next two weeks. Dog Street Parade, June 15th, uh, 5.30 p.m. Come on down, support the class of 2021. One of our last time to gather. Looking forward to it. I don't know, lots of good stuff going on. Work hard and finish strong. Take care, Lions. We have a number of teachers and staff members who won't be coming back to Warhill next year. We'd like to thank all of them for their service and everything that they've done to help the students here at Warhill. There's one person in particular, though, that I had to catch up with before he left. Mr. Throop. Hey. You are uh, your hard man to track down these days. Uh, <laughs> getting a lot of golf in. <laughs> no, a lot, a lot of work, working two different jobs right now. So quite, quite busy. Uh, yeah, and I was just kidding. Obviously, you are you are well immersed in uh, building the schedule for next year and and helping with testing and all the duties of the assistant principal. Um, but you have some big changes occurring um, next year. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I mean, it's been known for a while now, but. Uh, accepted a principalship uh, at Summit Christian Academy in, in York County, uh, which is where my, my, my own kids go. So um, excited to become the upper school principal there, which is grades seven through 12. Um, so working there now and uh, still wrapping things up at Warhill and trying to, to leave things in a good place um, as they will be, um, but just trying to wrap up the year well, so. And so congratulations, first of all, from all of us here. Um, now, you were here at Warhill for eight years, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a good, um, it's good So what's, what's your good. favorite memory of, uh, of over the eight years? Uh, man, I, I, there's a lot. Uh, I, I, I could go into lots of different, different memories, but I think uh, a couple stand out to me the, the most. Um, one... One in particular that probably stands out the most more than any of the others um, would be the the time that uh, as a as a whole school community um, we all went out into the student center and um, held a, a ceremony in honor of, of Mr. C um, and congratulated him on, on his retirement and all of his hard work and everything that uh, he meant to Warhill and how he exemplified the Warhill way and everything that he did. Um, such a great man and, and such a, a great moment and neat moment for our, our community uh, to just rally behind him um, and and, su and support um, him as, as, as he retired and, and moved on. So um, that was that that stands out as, as probably my, my top moment. Um, just a just a great moment for our school and community. Um, and then aside from that, um, you know, it's just been, it's been amazing over the last eight years just to see the talent of, of our students. Um, we have so many, many talented students in so many different aspects. Um, I've seen students design a tool bag uh, sent to NASA and NASA accepted it and, you know, allowed that prototype to be sent up to space. 
Um, I've seen tons and tons and tons of amazing art performances, uh, the, the musicals, the band performances, chorus, orchestra, the art shows, um, so many talented pieces there. And, and then also just the athletic accomplishments I've seen. I can't even count the number of state championships off the top of my head that, that we've won over uh, the time that I've been at Warhill that, you know, I didn't have anything to, to do with just other than just attending as a fan and celebrating the accomplishments of, of our students and cheering them on. But uh, what an amazing thing to be a part of just to see uh, the talent that was there and how it all came together uh, and how the students came together as teams to, to pull that off and win those um, state championships. So, those, those are definitely things that I'll definitely take away and uh, remember the rest of my my career um, and excited to have been a part of that War Hill. Okay. So what what will you what will you miss the most about War Hill? Uh, um, a lot. <laughs> War Hill is a great place, a special place. Um, but it's it's been a pleasure to be able to to serve um, the students and the faculty and the community at War, War Hill. Um, I think probably one of the things that I'll miss the most is just how we start the day. Um, I really love our, our morning routines of just being, being out and, and greeting the students, um, saying hi to the families as they're dropping off their, their students, seeing the students that are getting off the bus and, um, you know, just seeing those smiling faces as they're coming in um, to such a warm and welcoming place. Um, that's, that's been really fun. Um, and, definitely something that I'll, that I'll miss. I've, I've missed not being able to do the high fives over the last 15, uh, 15 months and some of the songs that we would do out front and um, some of the, the other aspects of things, but it's still been a really, really great way to, to connect with as many students and as families as possible um, as we start the day and really um, energizes me to get my day going and sets the tone and purpose and intent for, for my day um, as I see them coming in and, and how I can look to serve serve them uh, throughout the day. Okay. So last question, I guess it's a two-part question. If you could provide um, any advice for our outgoing seniors and our incoming freshmen, what would you have to say to them? Yeah. I, I mean, I think I would, you know, be able to combine them both and just say, you know, we have the Warhill way for a, a reason, right? It's, it's things that we believe in that will, will guide you, um, not just at Warhill, but throughout the rest of your life. So, um, you know, I, I would strongly encourage them to continue to follow the tenets of the Warhill way, um, that if they're doing everything with courage and honor and integrity and leadership, loyalty, persistence, pride, and strength, um, that things will go well for them um, and that they'll be successful in their, whatever endeavors that they set their, their mind to, whether it's a freshman coming into War Hill and you're, you know, wanting to have a, a high GPA or you want to win the next state championship or um, you want to meet great friends and just do great things at War Hill um, as you're coming in. If you set your mind to those tenants of those, that War Hill way, uh, you'll definitely do well. Um, but then also if you're a senior going out, um, if you follow those things, um, if you look for opportunities to exemplify the tenets of the War Hill Way and continue to seek to serve those around you, uh, things will go really, really well for you in, in life and in, in general. Um, so I would continue to encourage them to, to think on the War Hill Way and those tenets as they go forward. That's awesome. Well, listen, I know you're busy. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me and, and really the whole Warhill community because everyone's going to see this. Um, <laughs> you know, we obviously wish you the best in your in your new position. And we know your kids are happy to have you closer to them and, and um, think it'll, it'll be a better work life balance. But um, you know, we appreciate everything that you've done. You've been a great colleague and a great friend to me personally. And, um, you know, hopefully our paths will will cross down the road. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the great thing is, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's not a co complete goodbye, you know, just, uh, I'll, I'll see you later and, and see you around. Um, you know, my family's still in, in Williamsburg and, and Landon made me promise, um, you know, when I, when I told him that I was going to come be the principal, uh, at, at his school, of course, my kids were super, super excited about that. But then Landon followed up, well, we can still go to some of the Lions games. Right. And it's like, yeah, but of course we can go to some of the Lions games. We'll still be supporting War Hill and, and heading out there. So I look forward to seeing everyone around. 
um, at the different events still um, as we make make our way up to to continue to support uh, Warhill just in a different capacity going forward. So I appreciate the time to to talk, Ty and uh, Mr. Harris, and um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been a good a good year, a crazy year, but a, a, a very, very good, rich and rewarding uh, year. Um, and so great to see all the students back in the building um, and just how important that was. So yeah, signing off for now and looking forward to taking, taking things uh, just in a, in a different way and seeing everyone around a different capacity. So thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Be well, my friend. All right. You too. Hi, Warhill. This is Miss Knight and Mrs. Miller coming to you one last time from the Keep It Real office. Best of luck to the class of 2021. We are so proud of your extraordinary accomplishments. To the rest of the pride, your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Have a restful summer and can't wait to see you in the fall. A wise person once said, victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. Until, Until next, next year, keep, keep it real, Warhill! When we decided to create What's Happened in Warhill, we did it with the students in mind. We knew that we had to find a way for you all to feel connected, even though you were apart. So to all the seniors, we thank you, we applaud you, your perseverance is admirable, and we know that this wasn't the year that you had hoped for, but we're so happy that you made it to the finish line. Now, you do need some work with your senior prank. That was um, a little lame. Anyway, good luck to you, and we hope that you'll come back and visit.